Christopher and Holly, today is the beginning of your relationship as husband and wife. The big wedding event might be today, but the true honoring and cherishing of each other is a lifelong commitment. Thank you for bringing us here together tonight at this beautiful venue on such an amazing day. Holly and Chris make the best team. They celebrate each other, they cherish their families, and they have so much fun. Holly always had big dreams. Chris is the best example that dreams do come true. He always said to us, when I meet the right girl, you will meet her. When Chris and I matched on Bumble, my question to him was, what is your favorite opening of The Office? Mine was the fire drill scene. When Dwight does the pretend fire drill and they all think it's a real fire. They've banned it. I mean, The Office is her favorite show, one of my favorites. And it clicked. So we were meeting at a bar called The Beehive. It's kind of like a jazz club and we sat at the bar, he ordered us drinks. And we were sitting there and we were just talking about everything, our family and friends. And we had so many things in common, we were there for hours. It just felt extremely natural from the beginning. Chris and Holly. Chris and Holly. So one day he called us and he said, I'm coming to Worcester. And he said, I'm gonna stop by the house and you guys can meet Holly. And I'm like, wow. I turned to Ann, I'm like, she does exist. <laughs> and he fell very hard into boyfriend mode. June, I met all of his extended family and we had they had this big party. I said to him afterwards, I said, oh, like, what does your family think of me? Kind of looked at me and was like, they told me that if I don't marry you, I'm crazy. The doer in Chris perfectly balances out the beer in Holly. And it seems like it didn't take long after meeting Chris that she knew he was the one. We were up on his roof deck. We were supposed to have drinks with my friends, Sarah and Christina. She goes downstairs and comes back up, and I had a card written out for her. Front of the card, it had two B's on it, and it said, Holly and Chris meant to be. I lived 9,963 days without you. I can't survive another one. Be mine forever. As a father, I feel so blessed to see my home bear so happy. Chris and Holly have a love and respect for each other that fulfills my deepest wish for my beautiful daughter's future. You always think you have chosen the people that you love, and you always think like how random that is. For every meaningful, loving, full relationship, Jesus can really say, you haven't chosen each other, but I have chosen you for each other. The greater forces at work here. Love one another as much every day as you do today. We love you guys. My favorite thing about Chris is his sense of humor and his sarcasm, but I also want to say his huge, kind heart. I think one of my favorite things is when, like, she's in a room with people, everyone's just always smiling. He's just my guy. I just love him so much.
a holy and decent woman adds grace upon grace. Indeed, no price is worthy of her temperate soul. Come work with me, like the sun rising in the Lord's heavens, the beauty of a virtuous wife is the radiance of her home. Pour out your grace upon Christopher and Holly, that coming together before your altar, they may be confirmed in love for one another. Just like Maura had once said to Kara, I too thought about how lucky Holly was to find someone like Chris who loved her so incredibly much. I know if Maura was up here with me, she would say how great she thought Chris was and how happy she was for he and Holly. Mo, you will be with us on the dance floor as we remember your infectious laugh. You are always in our hearts. They say that marriage is not about focusing on each other, but standing side by side looking toward the future with your family, your friends, and your God behind you, giving you the support, the grace, and the strength that you will need. No matter how long this earth will go on, no matter how many other couples ever will get married, that love will never exist again. It's something special that only the both of you share. We were waiting for the moment to arrive. Waiting for the moment to arrive. I, Christopher, take you, Holly, to be my wife. I, Holly, take you, Christopher, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. I will love you and honor you all, all the, the days, days of, of my, my life. life. We were waiting for the moment to And I now introduce to you for the first time publicly, Mr. and Mrs. Christopher Roberts. Troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past.